Being a multi-potentialite is the reason you have many passions, the reason you feel like a failure for not having one passion, and why you can't find that one thing that makes you excited and passionate like others. Sadly there is nothing you can do about it, because it is part and parcel of your personality. The only thing you can do is to learn about yourself, embrace your quirks and the baggage that comes with being a multi-potentialite, if you want to manifest your true potential and attain your many passions. Living in a world where everyone seems to have only one passion and every motivational speaker preaching about finding your one true passion, many multi-potentialites or scanners feel like failures because no matter how hard they try to find their passion, they always end up hitting a wall. No matter how they try to keep or stay at a particular job, the feeling of chasing after something new, completely different and unrelated to the old one, always gets to them and when it does, hell break loose and they are back to square one. Learning something new from scratch. Many people don't seem to see the sense in what you do. Why work hard to get a job, and instead of keeping the job, you work for a few years, and off you go chasing down a new interest with no hopes of making it. Multi-potentialites will not be themselves if they don't do many things or try to do many things at once. The reason multi-potentialites have so many passions is because their minds are oriented towards problem solving. They hate to be challenged or to look desperate. Something always happens that triggers them to develop a new interest. Say a family member is wrongfully sentenced to prison, a multi-potentialite will feel the need to become a lawyer to protect his family and prevent other innocent people from facing the same ordeal. The more life throws at them the more interests they develop. Another reason for their many passions is their inability to commit, the lack of interest after attaining a particular goal, and the unpleasant feeling that comes with repetition. Multi-potentialites are more or less loners who don't like to get tied up in a single task for the rest of their lives. They cherish their freedom above anything. Commitment to multi-potentialites is nothing short of a prison sentence. Commitment is like putting themselves in a box, limiting their abilities to only one thing. Who is a multi-potentialite and what does it mean to be one? The word multi-potentialite was coined by Emily Wapnick to mean someone who is multi-talented and have many interests. Someone whose interest keeps changing over time. Today they would want to be a doctor, tomorrow they want to be a pilot or an entrepreneur. Someone whose CV looks like it belongs to five different people. You are someone far from being a specialist, you are a jack of all trades, a polymath, the renaissance man, someone misdiagnosed with ADHD, better still, a scanner as Barbara Sher calls you in her book Refuse to Choose. Even though the world is trying to box them by forcing them to choose a single passion, they refuse to choose from their many passions and prefer to pursue them. For some reason I did a checklist from Barbara's book that will help you identify who you are. You are a multi-potential light if. 1. You don't know why you can never stick to anything. 2. You know you should focus on one thing, but on which one? Multi-potential lights are almost always in a state of confusion, not knowing which interest to pursue as all of them are of equal importance. None is worth leaving behind and because time is of the essence they always find themselves in a tight corner not knowing which idea to focus on. 3. You lose interest in things you thought will interest you forever. 4. You keep going off another tangent every now and then. 5. You get bored as soon as you know how to do something. You can't stand to do anything twice. You hate to repeat movies, watch the rebroadcast of a TV show, read a book twice or give the same advice over and over. You keep changing your mind about what you want to do, and you end up doing nothing. You work at low-paying jobs because there is nothing you are willing to commit to. You hate to commit to anything other than your goals. You hesitate to choose a career path because it might be the wrong one. You can't pay attention unless you are doing many things at once. You pull away from what you are doing because you are afraid you will miss something better. You are always busy, but when you do find time you can't remember what you want to do. You feel like you will never be an expert on anything. Are you a multi-potential light or a scanner as Barbara Sher calls you? Let's know in the comments below. Now that you know who you are, what are you going to do about it? If you want to learn more about being a multi-potential light subscribe and like this video. Click the video on your screen to learn something new.